It's a remarkably clean scale in most shots. Remarkably clean. Which I agree, it's remarkable. It's incredible even. So keep, keep this in mind. This completely fooled the guys at Digital Foundry into, into assuming or thinking that uh, the game on Street Fighter 6 was rendering at a native 1080p. Literally, they said native 1080p. That's what it looked like to them. Check this out. I'm going to show you. We can show you exactly where the actual DL, DLSS is going to kick in. See if we can go back a little bit here. So this is Street Fighter VI. Pay, pay attention closely if you can. If you're watching on your big screen TV, this will be helpful. Make sure you're watching this in highest resolution you can. And we're gonna zoom in here. And let's see, if you if you go forward frame by frame a little bit, I'll show you exactly, you'll, you'll be able to see exactly where the DLSS kicks in for Switch 2. Okay, let's see. I'll show you where. Okay, let's see. And you, it'll, it'll be very apparent, watch. Almost there. Camera's about to cut, okay? Everything looks clean here. There it is. All right, you see that? Here it is. Right here. And Chun-Li too, you can tell it's it's a lower resolution. This is only gonna be, this is only gonna be literally for two frames. So you see all the all the how the lines got completely uh, disconnected, and there are there are, obviously it's a lower resolution here. Uh, Chun Li Chun Li is looking more. Uh, there's there's like some disseclusion, like art, like, almost like you know, like lower resolution, like artifacts. You could say not really, but it's like showing some lower signs of lower resolution here. There's like some jaggies and stuff. So <clears throat> watch this though. So this is one frame, one frame cut. If you go back one frame, this is, I mean, I'm doing this with shortcuts on, on uh, my keyboard here on YouTube. You go back one frame, this is where Ryu is about to turn and look at Chun-Li for the, uh, the reverses stance. Forward one frame, so that's one. Now let's go to frame two, okay? Forward one more frame. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's DLSS is turning on. It's not on completely yet, but it turned on. You could tell it's being turned on. The lines have been actually, uh, you can see they're being filled in here, but it's not fully on yet. Okay. So let's go to the next frame. So that, so that was one frame, two frame. And by the third frame, um, it's going to be turned on pretty much. So it goes, it goes a black and white because that's what they do uh when they're in the versus screen here if you turn this off so so they're they're going to versus and they say around one fight so dlss is now on but there's a little bit interesting thing you can notice if we forward a couple more frames that it's it's still turning on even more so to like full effect but really it's only um really the all the work is done with two frames one frame two frame and by the third frame yeah yeah it's done with two frames so one frame two frame and by that by the by the third frame uh, it's basically on but if we if we forward the frames a few more times it's going to turn on a little bit more you see a little bit more of the little adjustment there but it's hardly noticeable at all so by the ninth frame it's all done let's go back Okay, one, off, two, turned on, like it's turning on, three, it's on, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's completely resolved. 
hundred percent, but you won't be able to notice those other resolves. So that whatever they're doing there, they're 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 increasing it even more. So you can you can look a little close at the at the lines on the uh, dojo in the back there or building, and it it kind of off on and then resolve 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 but very fine resolve to make it look very good and then um it's going to turn back so it's already on it's been on for a bit we're just going forward for the frames round one look at that so look at this looks beautifully clean this looks better than the the line resolve in PS5 and on PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox Series S. This this looks better than that because it has, it's actually correcting the lines with AI. Uh, and we talked about this in previous videos that the our previous live stream, the last live stream we did. The reason why you could tell it's AI driven is because a lot of the times the lines and even, you know, Digital Foundry said this after I did in my live stream, but the lines basically, they kind of mesh the jaggies together to make them look more, more uh, filled, filled out. So that's why you can tell, like in a game like Cyberpunk 2077, if we go back um, to Cyberpunk 2077, right here is a great example. Um, right here. So this is a telltale sign of DLSS. So without DLSS, this pole here would be, would be a jaggy mess. And these poles here as well would be. So they're using DLSS here. They have already confirmed they're using DLSS in this game, they're using DLSS to correct the lines and, and make them not as noticeable basically to, to the naked eye, which then that is what you want because you want to have, you know, like if you're actually going to be using this to your advantage, like a lot of things with, with a game like Street Fighter six, it's not like super demanding, but like what this will do from them rendering at 540 P to 1080p and then upscaling again to like, Oh, to 4k with like, with like a taa solution what this will do is is that this will ensure a locked a locked 60 frames per second no matter what they're doing on screen so let's say they're doing their gigantic level three supers right or you know are there there's all kinds of crazy uh stuff going on screen this will this will allow them to avoid any frame drops during those times as well plus the game needs to run at, the, at this high quality during online play so you need to have all these var variables in place in order to get the game running smoothly and there are frame drops in xbox series s and ps4 so this this is hands down this is the most impressive use of dlss i've ever seen in a game i've never seen something resolve this clean at a at a 540p resolution it is absolutely amazing we're going back here look at that like this is crazy. I've never I've never seen it do this before. This is like just insane. From off to on to to done pretty much and then small resolves after that and we're good. And uh I'm I'm going to push play here and then you'll see what you'll see like basically when you when they start jumping in front of this building here you you, you can notice if you're zoomed in and if you're really paying attention you can notice that some of their like motion blur or whatever uh causes a little bit of shimmering in the the ai upscale in this building that's like the only way you can tell really that they're using it but it has some shimmering you'll see we see them go fight see how it does have some shimmering when it moves when they're moving through it but it resolves really quickly, you see? But you're, you're never gonna notice that during gameplay, and this is zoomed in, and it doesn't even look bad in the first place. Um, so let me go back a little bit. So go back, and then if we zoom out to normal, 
So yeah, you're you're never gonna notice this during play. It just looks like it, it looks like the game is running at a high resolution. Looks clean. Yeah, there's some like a little bit of shimmering and a little bit of jaggy sometimes when they move in motion. But when the image is still, more still, it, it resolves itself super fast and it looks super clean. But even in motion, it looks it looks great. So like, no one's gonna complain about this. This does not look like a low resolution. This does not look like 540p. This looks like something like 1080p being upscaled to 4K. And that's exactly here what they were capturing the game at, 4K. So you tell me in the chat, if you were, are you gonna be disappointed in how this game looks? If, if just because someone tells you it's running at 540p, but you can't notice it, does it matter? I would say no. And remember, this is coming from a PC gamer here, okay? Like, I notice these things because I'm into this kind of stuff, and this is what interests me. <laughs> Other channels, maybe not, right? But when you when you do when you do the you know deep dives into this stuff, you can actually see how it works. And it's it's really good, man. Like, this is incredibly good like like we said it fooled digital foundry no one's gonna be able to tell it's 540p it's it's literally impossible unless you zoom in and see where the dlss is turned on so the reason why i the reason why i did that is because of what uh of what they said here on this page <clears throat> i was like huh so he looked at he looked at the footage on treehouse live and said it looks like native 1080p they actually reported that it appeared to be native 1080p when they first saw this game and then they said wait a second because they slowed down some footage from the treehouse footage that was there because obviously they can't do any direct capture because they don't have the switch too then they saw that when the camera panned to a new scene that the actual the actual um, base resolution was exposed for uh, two frames you gotta stare. You gotta like look directly here before that before the scene even happens. Look directly there. Keep your eyes peeled on that, and don't move your eyes at all, or else you'll miss it. That's basically how how crazy it is. <clears throat> so I'm watching. I'm watching. Can I see it? No, not really. I I can't really notice it. Maybe like but I don't know. But it's 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 so quick. You're never you're never gonna notice that. And that that and that's with me knowing it's there and trying to find it. No one else is gonna do that. Everyone is gonna just be playing it like this, and they're gonna they're gonna just enjoy the game because that's how you should be enjoying it. Mm -hmm.